Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new, I am Brittany. I am a content creator around beauty, lifestyle, motherhood, um, makeup. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing with you, I mean I just did a Shein maternity haul, so it just happened to come in about the time that I was really needing to get extra maternity clothes as I'm growing. I'm 17 weeks on my fourth pregnancy and I just... Nothing really fits except for sweats and sundresses right now, and I just need some clothes. Like, because nothing fits. <laughs> um, here is a mini haul that I went out and was looking for maternity clothes. Finding maternity clothes is hard. Finding clothes to fit anyway while pregnant is hard. And I'm the type of person that I am getting used to shopping online, and I actually have come to really enjoy it, but I also want to be the person who tries it on right then and there to decide if I like it or if I don't. And with, with COVID going on, the dressing rooms are closed. So I went to Target and it was a bust, you know. Yeah, my Target does not, does not ever have anything cute. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I, I'm not sure. Because they have a maternity section. We used to have a maternity boutique and unfortunately that one shut down years ago. So that was a strike for that one. Um, we had a motherhood maternity store in our mall, but that one shut down all. So that left me a couple other options. I happened to find a couple of pieces of clothing. I mean, besides maternity bras and underwear at my local Walmart. And I actually found some leggings that I was actually gonna cut into shorts, but I have to take those back. Unfortunately, they, I didn't pay quite close enough attention. They were on the wrong size or wrong hanger size. So I'm going to take those back and go get some more. And I think I probably will leave one as a long pant legging. And then I'm probably gonna cut the other one into looking like biker short kind of things. So I will show you what I got. I went to Old Navy and Ross and ha happened to have some luck right there. Found my Old Navy doesn't have a maternity section in store. But, you know, I found this cute little t-shirt dress. Oh my goodness. I, I could have stayed in my size, but I wanted to, to fit a little bit looser. So I ended up going, sizing up. And this color, oh my goodness, this corally blush pink is so, so cute. So normally I wear a medium. I ended up going with a large. And this is right here. I will definitely insert some clips of me trying this on. It is, I think 100, I think it's 100% cotton. Yes, it is 100% cotton. I got it on sale. It was actually $30, but yes, I paid, I think I paid 15 for it. I think it was half off. But it is super loose fitting and it's going to be perfect as my belly gets bigger. And oh my gosh, goodness, I just, I can't, I can't with this color. The lighting is not the, t the true tone of it, but I've been contemplating if I'm going to actually cut some pocket holes and insert and sew my own pockets on the inside because I am a huge fan of pockets. Then I went to Ross and I found a few things. I don't know what was going on that day. I don't know what was going on that day, but they were so picked over, which is, I mean, Ross for me is a hit and miss anyway. They have a small maternity section and sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't. Kind of like the, clo the actual clothing section for me at least. Hold on, I'm turning this on for him. So I happened to get lucky and I found some pieces and this is what I got. I found this in the plus size but i'm pretty sure it's not a plus size short and they are just these like sweat shorts and they have these cute little drawstring upsides on the uh the sides of the shorts and they've got pockets and they're super comfortable and super soft i spent 7.99 on these and they are large and that was perfect i need the extra room right now 
And then I found this in the maternity section. It's just a little sweatshirt. I got it in a medium. I paid $10.99 for it and it's just a cute little, it says mama. It's the color. The color is what really drew me to it. And especially with me like freezing all the time. During the day, well, cause it's springtime right now. During the day, I am freezing inside my house and in, anytime I go into anywhere. But outside, I'm sweating. So, this is perfect. And then in the evenings, I'm freezing again. So, I have to change two and three times a day sometimes to fit because I cannot, <laughs> I need help. I cannot dress myself during the spring and being pregnant at the same time. I just, I wish I could stay in one outfit all day, but I, I just can't right now. But like I said, it's just a cute little oversized sweatshirt. Next, I have, oh, here's, um, I'll show you that in just a second. Then I found, I don't know if these were in the right spot. They almost look like men's to me. Found it in the active wear section. These were $9.99. And they've got the pockets. Maybe they come from the juniors. I really don't know. But it says NASA on the bottom of it and then it's the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I'm a big fan of the one in Houston but that's okay. Like I said the pockets they're really deep that's what makes me think it's a men's. I don't know. And this was a size medium but it's super comfy. I don't know my husband thinks they're super super ugly but <laughs> I think they're so cute. I'm going to rock this with some kind of crop top of some sort and then last but not least from Ross in the maternity section this is actually small because I go I have noticed I go between let me turn this down okay I go between like a small medium anyway and maternity pants size medium is almost a little bit too big and small is a little bit almost too small so I figured with sweats I could get by with a small I don't know. They're a little bit tighter than I would like them to be. I guess my thighs have like really grown through this pregnancy. These were $12.99, but I figured since they were maternity, they would, you know, also be a little bit bigger and then with them being a sweat. They are long enough, which is awesome. This little, this baby pink is so cute. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them just yet. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to really keep them or not. Like I said, they're just a little bit tighter than I would like and as I get bigger I mean they're not gonna get any looser so I'm almost even trying to decide if I'm gonna cut them into shorts because I mean the uh the cold the cold cold weather is basically out of here except for at night so I'm thinking on that and then last but not least, like I said, I did mention that I found some stuff at Walmart. I got a gray, which is way over there and I'm not gonna go get it cause it's too far. And I thought I got it on sale for $4.99. I was so excited about that. Um, the little hanger said a medium and so I snatched that so quick and when I pulled it off, it was a triple XL. And I was so sad. So that, that's got to go back. Originally, this is $7.94. And this is maternity. So it's got the spot for the bump. These medium pants right here are a little big. That's why I'm going back to Walmart. And I'm going to find the small and kind of compare it. I don't know whether to keep the medium. Or... You know to really get a small might get a small anyway and just see how it goes because like I said it bunches up I don't know this I don't know if you can tell right here probably not because the lighting and the sun's going down behind a cloud or something so it's getting a little bit darker in here I don't know if you can tell though where the belly line it goes to like right here and then there's the crotch but um it's all it's all bunchy and I don't know it just looks weird I have a little belly 
And I know it's gonna like fill it out more as I get bigger. I might be okay with a medium. I don't know. I don't know. I still wanna get a small though and see what the difference is. Cause there's so much stretch. This is cotton, it will shrink, but I don't know. It just still seems a little bit too big, like in the legs and then at the where the belly part is attached to the pants. Finding clothes, whether it be sizing up or just finding whatever that fits while pregnant is tough. Um, maternity clothes are hard to find and regular hard, clothes are hard to find. You know, your body is changing so much in such a small amount of time. I didn't want to break down and buy maternity because what's the point of only wearing it for three months? And then you got to go donate it or sell it or whatever, figure out what to do with it because it doesn't fit anymore. So I'm just trying to help give you ideas and clues because luckily my first pregnancy, I didn't have to buy any maternity. I could fit in all of my clothes. I just had to get the like the little belly band once I got so big, but I stayed pretty small the entire time. And then I've been slowly inching my way into maternity and it's so hard to find cute maternity that is like really affordable. Mom, I'm not a boutique you. girl anyway, but I really don't want to pay $60 for a pants, pair of pants, one pair of pants that I'm going to wear a few times. Okay. Maybe more than a few times because I would probably only buy one and I would basically live in those. But for something I'm just not going to wear that long, not to mention trying to decide if it's going to fit or not and then having to deal with the hassle of sending it back and whatnot. So I mean, I get it. Finding clothes that fit is pretty rough. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I hope you have an awesome, wonderful day, rest of your week, weekend, whatever it is. Don't forget to hit that like button. It lets me know what you like, what you don't like. And don't forget to follow me if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Basically, sorry. Mom brain. I will see you guys in my next video. Tell me in the comments where you shop for maternity clothes and what your solutions are because I'm sure other moms would find that absolutely helpful. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And you should see our video too. Because we have a YouTube channel and you should look it up. It's called Rinse and Boots on YouTube, like hers. Also, don't forget to check out their channel, The Brents and Builds. And. Yes, The Brents and Builds! I will see you guys next time. Bye.